All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses. Uh, since today is Windows 10 day, and Windows 10 is now made available for general public download and installation, I went ahead and killed my gaming computer and reinstalled, did a fresh, clean install without any of the upgrades, without any of the beta stuff that I was kind of testing out during the Windows 10 Insider Preview. So I've got a GA version of Windows 10 and all of the current drivers up and running, um, which is build uh, 10.240 available today. And uh, I came across something very interesting that I was not expecting, and I didn't, uh, I didn't catch it during the beta, and I don't think it was available during the beta or the insider preview. But uh, Microsoft has actually released a Microsoft Windows 10 beta edition of Minecraft, and I went ahead and downloaded this beta edition. So if you go into the store once you have Windows 10, you can buy the beta for $10. Um, uh, so you can get the Windows 10 Beta Minecraft Edition for $9.95 if you would like, or you can get a free trial. However, if you are a existing Minecraft player with a subscription, you can go out to the website and actually go and find out how you can download the Windows Beta version um, for free if you're an existing subscriber. So what you do essentially is you come down here, um, you come into the beta find for free, you scroll down, you'll log into your uh, Mojang, Mojang website, uh, and then there's going to be a redeem button for you to go out and download, and it'll take you back to the Windows Store, you'll redeem it, and then you'll download it. Long story short, what you end up with is a version of Minecraft that is specifically tuned for Windows 10. Now, I haven't really played with it very much, but the reason I wanted to make this video is the very first thing that I noticed when I started playing this. Um, it's so much faster than the Java build. Um, it's insanely quick when it comes to actually uh, rendering graphics um, and rendering the worlds that it was it was kind of shocking to me, to be honest with you. So I want to make a quick video and show you what that looks like. So you can see uh, if you can go online, if you'd like to find me, uh, VW1337 is my uh, Mojang account. Anyway, if I hit play, I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. Um, and I want you to see, so we've got Realms, um, which is not available just yet. You'll be able to buy into, subscribe to Realms or, or create your own Realms. You also have your friends list that you can add um, servers and add friends. But I want to go ahead and create a new world. I'm just going to go ahead and set it creative. But what I want you to pay attention to when I hit this Create button is just how fast it draws the world and gets it up and running. It was really, really shocking. And this is even playing in Windows. I have yet to figure out how to get it to play in full screen mode. And I have a feeling it is a, a preference of Windows 10, Windows 10 apps that I have not tweaked yet because I don't normally play Windows 10 games on, on this system. But anyways, let me go ahead and hit this. And I want you, boom, that quick. You see that? It's just so fast at drawing and I currently have my draw distance maximized actually yeah let's see yeah maximize draw different uh, draw distance and it was that instantaneous to draw the world and get me up and running in it so let me just really quickly I'm going to pop up here in altitude and uh, move forward and you can kind of get an idea of just how fast this actually renders and actually draws one of the things that uh, I like to test out it's actually a really cool looking world. One of the things that I like to test out is um, as I'm doing different tweaks, as I used to do different tweaks to the Java build of Minecraft, is I would set off a bunch of TNT and see how the game handled a, a very large explosion. And uh, I found it to be shockingly fast. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to equip myself with some TNT and I am going to go blow some stuff up here real quick. And I want you to see just how fast this is actually running. I mean, just even play, planting the TNT along this mountainside, you can see it's just, it's instantaneous to, to draw. It, it's mind boggling how fast they actually got the game to work. You know, I, I played Minecraft really, really steadily for a long time. A buddy of mine uh, had a server and we were just go into creative mode and just build all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and every now and then we would find an area and we would just plant boatloads of, uh, of TNT and just blow things up and, and kill a bunch of blocks and create these ginormous craters. And I've even downloaded a bunch of the, the add-on mods to where you got like the nuclear bombs and stuff. And it's just absolutely mind-boggling how much better this Windows 10 version versus the Java version actually handles all of that data. 
Um, you know, it used to, if I made an explosion this big in the Java version, it would, it would bring my system down to a crawl for a few minutes. Um, but let me go ahead and uh, set this off, and I'm going to take a step. Oops, I uh, didn't mean to do the bottom one. Oh, that should set it. But look at that. I mean, I blew all of that out, and it was that fast. It rendered that quickly. It didn't tax my graphics card at all. Um, pretty beefy graphics card. For those of you who don't watch, I'm actually um, watching my show on the regular. I'll show you my, my rig setup here. It's kind of an older setup, but if you watch my Windows 10 gaming performance, you know it's a old Gen 1 i7 930. I'm running a NVIDIA G4 780 Ti um, graphics card. Actually, it's not a Ti. It's just a 780 uh, GTX classified edition with 12 gigs of RAM um, and an SSD hard drive, but it the performance gain that I am seeing in the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, to be honest with you, is going to bring me back into the game. The game looks a little bit different. Um, the graphics seem a little bit, almost colors are a little bit muted uh, compared to the way they used to be. As you can see, as I'm up here, let me actually drop back down into the world. But it is just, it was awesome. I was very, very surprised at how fast the game actually rendered. Um, when I switched over and installed this version. So if you currently have a Minecraft subscription and you've upgraded to Windows 10, definitely go out to the website um, and go in there and redeem the beta version. There's some features that are not available in the beta version. Let me take you through just really quickly through your options. So you've got uh, your main game volume, game sound, uh, sound volume, music, difficulty level, third person view, you can toggle it on or off here. Um, and then local server multiplayer, you can turn that on if you've got multiple machines on your local network that are playing. Then we have control sensitivity, access, lefty buttons, uh, split controls, D-pad, auto jump, and your graphics. So we can do, you know, bobbling or fancy graphics or not fancy graphics, uh, beautiful skies or not beautiful skies, animated water, non-animated water, and then experimental height GUI. It gets, basically gets rid of the GUI. But um, there you have it. That is just a very quick down and dirty video uh, just showing you the performance of Minecraft for Windows 10. I am pleasantly surprised. I am actually going to start playing the game again. I can't wait until the full version is available and it is no longer beta so we have all the functionality. I'm looking forward to getting online and uh, messing around with realms and seeing what Microsoft can actually do. I was really worried what Microsoft would do with Minecraft because it was such a great sandbox game and I was worried about them screwing it up but it looks like they've optimized the hell out of it. So. Looking forward to uh, playing this game in the future. So thanks for watching. That's all I've got for today. Um, I'm going to do some more videos on uh, Windows 10, Windows 10 Gaming, and just Windows 10 in general. If you like these videos, please, as always, like and subscribe. It helps the show out greatly. And uh, leave me some comments. And please don't tell me how stupid of a configuration my gaming rig is. It works for me. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it seems like trolls love to just bash on an individual's hardware. But just really quickly, I will show you my hardware specs here so that you can get an idea. And I am overclocking, so the reported clock speed that the system here shows is actually inaccurate. It's an older system showing 2.8 gig um, processor, but I'm actually got it overclocked to 3.2, uh, 3.4. I don't remember exactly right now what it is. But there you have it, i7 Gen 1 930, uh, 780 GTX graphics card and 12 gigs of RAM running on an older 23 inch monitor, not quite 1080p. And that's what I get all kinds of frack from all of my viewers is the fact that I don't have a 1080p, but I have a 780. Who cares? I enjoy my gaming rig. And, uh, if you have something better, cool, good for you. If not, um, if you're jealous, Hey, you don't need to be trolling anyways. Thanks a lot. And we will see you in the next video. Have a great day guys.